Hey guys and welcome back to Shenzhen IO. So I've had a couple of thoughts and unfortunately yes I have uh, I have been pretty much ignoring uh, chat until I work this one out because I uh, chat I say like this is uh, like I'm streaming. Um, no, uh, the comment section I've been pretty much ignoring it because I don't know I like uh, I like bumbling through it on my own and try to work out exactly what I'm trying to do. Uh, so what I do is. I was thinking half of my issue that I'm having right now is that is that this is non-blocking, so this takes ages to do anything. So what I do is um, move x zero, x one. Uh, then sleep for one doesn't really work, does it? Can I do... Um... What if I do add... I'm trying to think of if it's uh... Nah, I don't think it is. Move x0, x1, move x0, x1, x1, take for one. There we go. And then what I can have is uh, you here. No, move that one over. All right, and then to move x one, uh, p one, p zero. So p one, move x one. P0, move X1, X3 I would say. Uh, sure. Yeah, you can do that. And then get you to... one p1 okay um Of course, we're only doing we're only doing three. Okay, and then wait, did that did that actually did it all fire right there? No, of course, because uh, X3 will be blue as opposed to green, so that should be uh, X3 and that should be P0, just because of the way that they're all set up. Yeah. Okay. Then that shouldn't move any any other way because it's not going to get anything else. It's just going to get negative nine nine nine. So that should go to uh, move x one acc. Can I copy that? See, it says parts not recommended, but I want to use it. 
so you can piss off. Okay. I know, I feel like I'm making this so needlessly fucking complicated. So what I feel like I need to do is move X0 ACC Test of greater than that and if it is do that So these are all trying to Yeah, because that's trying to sleep now, whereas it shouldn't. Does that? All right, and then this one. Okay, so that's got that on ACC there. So then. And then I need it to I need it to sleep. Okay, so so test if it is nine nine nine. If it's not 999, so if it doesn't equal 999, then if it doesn't equal 999, then sub 1 and it's greater than 0. Uh, sorry, and ACC is greater than zero. Uh, sorry, we'll do if it's not less than one, which is greater than zero. Um, then sub one, sleep one. 
jump loop. Okay. Um... Hmm, shit. Because obviously that's not going to tell that one to wake up, is it? Shit. Um. So it's not turning shit off, which is the problem. Uh. uh move zero P one. Move zero X three. Move. thing is hmm see it does all of that have it so that and then do that when it wakes up do that Okay, and then it'll get something. Okay, and then it gets all the stuff. And it resets it all. Have I fucking done it? I feel like this is like the worst way that I could have done it, but it works. <laughs> oh my god, I managed to do it. Holy shit. It wasn't terrible. I bet Mavstar on everything. Rubble bet me, but I, I bet Mavstar. I'm kind of happy about that one. Holy shit. Oh my god, that took me far too long. Greetings all, with every project we take, there are factors we can control and factors we cannot control. We could not control the fact that Cool Dad was arrested and jailed for possession of amphetamines as he attempted to enter Japan, thus cancelling the world tour. However, there was something under our control, and that was the terms of the deal. We could have negotiated a better contract that would allow us some recourse if something like this happened, instead of, uh, instead of us on the hook with hundreds of thousands of useless colour changing light up vapes for us to dump at basement prices just to get rid of them. Lily Woo. Uh, undocumented instruction. So I was chatting with the mayor of the pub and it comes to light those uh, Cheng Shan microcontrollers we use everywhere have a secret instruction that isn't in any of the documentation. It takes the format of P-R-I-R-I. -R -I. What? Gen P-R-I-R-I -I, and it conveniently generates a pulse on any simple I.O. pin. The signal switches on then off for however many time units you want using the last two operands. 
Gen P X Y is equivalent to move 100 P, sleep X, move 0 P, sleep Y. Oh! What the hell, I could have been using this all along and saved so many instructions. Do you know about this? Yes, actually, it is in the documentation, the Chinese version. Just like the at conditional. The, the what? Seems like many instructions are not yet tra translated. Putting an at symbol at the beginning of an instruction causes it to execute only once. How have you been initialising code? Oh my goodness. That's incredible. So, like, funnily enough, what I could do then is have that there, and then it'll never get used again. Okay, it's the worst thing to do because that's not right. But no, that's fun. Uh, that's really cool that that happens. I'm going to need to remember those though. Uh, can I, can I copy this? Uh, I need a note. Uh, there we go. P. Uh, is the same as move hundred P. Sleep X. Move zero P. There we go. I made a little uh, note in the instructions for that one. To our fellow expats, have you gone to Three Kingdoms land yet? I just went to the one in Shen Shenzhen. The recreations of ancient Chinese society there are extremely fascinating. You even get old metal coins that you have to use to buy things with, as if you were in the past. I watched the reenactors take my coins and count them by hand. Isn't that bizarre? I thought I could use a coin machine to count the money faster, so I negotiated a deal with them to build some here. Uh, wouldn't a coin machine be a little out of place at a theme park supposed to be historical recreation? Carl, I've already spoken to them about the look. The machine will have a beautiful car faceplate design with dragons and heavenly mountains and all that sort of stuff, so it won't look out of place at all. The machine just has to know when you've put in the right coin total, such as the price of one... It rings a bell to let the person behind the counter know to hand you your item. Then it makes change in real physical coins. Ah, it's really like bygone times. Well, before we get in on that, we're going to call it an episode here. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.